With my role as the host of a snowmobile television show, I've had the absolute privilege to ride all across the snow belt in both the US and in Canada. Now, over the years, there's been a few destinations that have really stood out above all the others, and West Yellowstone in Montana is one of those places. Yellowstone was once the undisputed go-to destination for snowmobilers of all stripes in North America. It didn't matter if you were a mountain rider or a flatlander. If you rode Yellowstone, you were a snowmobile king, and the town of West Yellowstone was at the center of it all. Back then, the centerpiece of this destination was the park itself, which at the time was an almost free-for-all for people who rode there. Now there were problems with wildlife encounters, speeding, and pollution that forced the park to pump the brakes on this type of access. Snowmobiles suddenly had to be certified clean to enter the park and then only on guided tours that kept everyone on trail. The park, however, always seemed to overshadow the snowmobile experience outside of its boundaries, both before and after the restrictive measures were put into place, which was unfortunate because the truly epic sledding around West Yellowstone wasn't really well known to the general sledding public. In recent years though, that story, these facts, and this place are all building momentum again. Of course, there's still access to the park right from the town of West Yellowstone itself. Snowmobiles or snow coach tours are available to enter the park, or you can choose your own people power to trek or ski your way in. Buffalo, other wildlife, beautiful pristine wilderness, and of course, Old Faithful are all sites that await. This type of access can be easily arranged by one of the many outfitters inside the town of West Yellowstone, which is just one of the many services that can be found in this town that does well at capturing the Western experience. Here, there's plenty of choice when it comes to accommodations, with everything from chain hotels to unique owner-operator locations offering up your typical hotel rooms, or if you like, individual cabins. There's also plenty of dining options here in the winter as well, with good hearty food choices. And because crowds aren't as big in the winter, it means wait times are almost non-existent. There's even museums and animal habitats like the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center to experience. Here, you can come face to face with some very big bears. And of course, all the services are accessible from the seat of your snowmobile on roads that are specifically maintained to keep a layer of snow and ice on them just so you can get around on your sled. It doesn't matter how cool the town is, if the riding is no good, it's never going to be a truly great destination. Thankfully though, that's not an issue here in West Yellowstone because the ride here, well, it's about as good as it gets. The town grooms and maintains a system of about 400 miles of trail that not only loop out and back to the town of the west, but also link into Idaho. Groomed daily, these are the type of trails any snowmobiler craves. This tabletop smooth system also has what I can best describe as a special flow to it. With just the right amount of turns and straight sections, there's also beautiful scenery from trees to mountains, and if you want to talk elevation changes, this system takes you from the town at roughly 6,000 feet all the way up to about 8,000 on the top of two tops. Riding up to the top of two tops to get your picture taken with the ghost trees up there is one of the most memorable things you can do. Plus, if you're up there on a bluebird day, you can see all the way to the Tetons. And with the trail leading almost all the way to the peak, this is a memory achievable by anybody, not just riders with mountain goat type skills. Now, the ghost trees won't be the only memorable part of this ride though, which will take you through the experience of traveling through open plains, perfectly set with mountains as the backdrop and a huge river system. Then the trails also tighten up as they wind their way through the surrounding forest system, taking you alongside crystal clear flowing mountain creeks at the bottom of a valley and onto open trails that feel like they're clinging to the side of huge mountain slopes. There's also switchback style trails that'll have you popping your eardrums as you climb up and up, where the views you can experience right off the seat of your sled as you ride along are the type of views all other views are judged on. The area also offers up endless riding zones for people looking to put their off-trail skills to the test as well. With the size of the system, pockets of fresh powder are basically limitless, and the variety of terrain will keep any mountain rider entertained. 
Exploring the areas off trail will pay dividends for riders who crave this type of adventure. With the trail system and access to the Alpine, there's something here for everyone, both on and off trail. It simply doesn't matter what type of rider you are, West delivers on its promise of an epic ride. With the whole area centered around the town of West Yellowstone, the system and its series of loops are supported by the businesses catering to the sledders. Which means not only is there easy access for your sleds to travel the town roads, there's also plenty of rental and guiding operations for people looking to ride. Here you can find your typical rental sled, not high on performance, but will get you to all the great spots to experience. Perfect for guided adventures with a group or available to take on your own. Then, on the other end of the spectrum, along with any sled in between, there's the top-of-the-line mountain sleds available too for riders who may not be able to bring their own sleds to the area, but don't want to compromise as they challenge themselves against all West Yellowstone has to offer. Even novice snowmobilers can take advantage of the experience here with all the tour operators and guides. Snowmobiling in West Yellowstone is an achievable adventure for everybody. Being from the East, one of the things I appreciate is the great mix of both on-trail and off-trail experiences here. Like I've mentioned off the top, I've had the chance to get to some truly great snowmobiling destinations, but I can think of no other destination outside of West Yellowstone that offers literally the best of both worlds. For me, my skills as a mountain rider are never going to match those of folks who ride the Alpine every day, so going to ride in places that challenges them is a little tough for me. Here in West Yellowstone though, I can sample the off-trail experiences that fit my skill level and also enjoy some of the best trails while doing it. Here, you get to have your cake and eat it too. West Yellowstone is one of only a handful of places that I look forward to going back to again and again. Each trip is as special as the last one and right now, <laughs> I can't wait to get back there.